I have a special occasion, this is where I go to get my hair done. But I don't always have the time or money to get it done every single time. So these stylists are gonna show you a few tips to do it yourself. If you go into a salon and you want an updo for a special occasion, you may spend anywhere from $60 to $100 depending on how elaborate the style is. You can get these looks in not a lot of time. You can go to any convenience store and get any of these accessories from anywhere from a dollar to six dollars. The main part is just don't overthink it. These are supposed to be fun, they're supposed to be simple. They took, all of them took under five minutes. So really it should be fun and easy for you to do at home. Look number one, the chignon. And you start by prepping the hair with a texturizing cream and smoothing fluid. That's step one. You need product just to get the hair to stay. You need to add texture to the hair. You need the bobby pins to stick, the hair ties to stay. The more product, the better. Most of the time, if you wash your hair at night and sleep on it and kind of wake up messy and put product, that's really gonna be your best way to get an up through the hold. Step two, pull your hair into a high ponytail. Next, you're gonna flip the ponytail forward, and at the last inch of the hair, you're gonna put a small rubber band. Next, we're gonna flip the ponytail back and add two large bobby pins at the base of the ponytail. Next, you're just gonna flip the ponytail back over and tuck the tail in at the base of the ponytail. Secure with a bobby pin and add hairspray. So that's it, five easy steps to get an elegant party updo. So our next look is a party ponytail. Anybody can throw their hair into a regular ponytail. This will be way more fun for a night out on town. The first step, you're gonna prep your hair with a ton of hairspray. This is what's gonna get all that teasing to stick the whole night. Next, you're gonna section off the top half of the hair and pull the bottom side into a high ponytail. The next step is to tease the top half of the hair and then we're gonna cover the ponytail with it. Finally, you're gonna take the whole top section, pin it to the base of the ponytail, and then wrap the ends around the ponytail and cover the holder. I'm wrapping the hair around the ponytail holder to hide the ponytail holder and to make it look a little more dressed up. I'm gonna spray down the flyaways, keeping the sides really smooth and sleek. And there you go, you are ready for a night out on the town. Next up, the top knot. You can look on TV, you can look on the internet, you can look at any of those red carpet shows. Everyone has that top knot because it is easy to recreate. Your first step is gonna to be to prep the hair with a ton of hairspray. The more, the better. Your next step is gonna to be to pull the ponytail at the very top of your head. Next, you're gonna take little sections of the ponytail and tease them. Get your ponytail as big as you possibly can. The last step is to just start smoothing out the hair and wrapping it around in a bun and pin as often as you need to. If you want to jazz it up, you can throw on a hair bow, any kind of accessory will do. So for this bun, we did the more elegant look. If you want to keep it casual, just use your fingers and wrap it around and keep it messy. The best part is right now, messy is in. Everybody has little flyaways and it's not perfect. That's the whole point of having these easy updos. For our curly haired girls, Tamika Fletcher has a few tried and true tips. You know, the old saying about the hairstylist never having time for our own hair is actually true. And so I have to be inspiring to my clients even at the last minute. To get the job done, Tamika relies on this clip. You can find it for as little as $5 on sale at most stores. It's called the Upsing Clip. As you can see, I have very thick, curly hair. So anything that can whip my hair into submission within seconds is supernatural. Her first look is super easy. You just pull the sides up. You can wear it like this, or for a more dramatic look, add a faux braid. When you first start, completely flatten the inside. You can even use a bobby pin to hold that part out of the way to make the styling easier. So once that part is out of your way, you're really only taking a small section from this side, a small section from this side, and you're gonna keep taking small sections and covering up the inside. So it's no braiding, it's just folding. To finish the style, use the end of your hair to cover up the clip. I use one bobby pin to secure 
the very end of my hair. It takes your look from day to night in less than 30 seconds. Kendra Royals in the process of growing out her hair and to get something resembling an updo, she typically has to drag out the bobby pins. The bobby pins take forever. I have to use each individual one. I'm just pinning it any every kind of way and just hoping that it'll just you know, look decent. <laughs> Tamika says this clip works even on short styles like Kendra's. So what you're gonna do is put it in on one side, slide it in, lift everything up, and cross your clip over, smooth your hair in the back, and slide it into the other side. And it's as simple as that. You could come up high, you could do it low, you could leave half up, half down. I think this looks great. Now you've seen the professionals do it, we wanted to see if all the ladies could actually recreate the styles on their own. I love it. Um, I like the design. It's cute. It's professional. Well, it was a little bit more difficult than I thought because my hair is shorter in the back. Um, so grabbing it to make sure it's all up was a little bit more difficult, but I, I like the end result. It's pretty cool to be able to spice up your ponytail and not just have it in the back. You can put it in a bun, throw an accessory in on the side and you get a really good look. The hardest part was definitely learning how to tease. Um, it's hard. My favorite is definitely this one. Cause it's so when you see Kim Kardashian with her hair in a little bun. So I'm just trying to recreate that look. I like it. I think it's, di it's different, definitely. Um, you know, I've tried doing buns on my own and they never turn out as cute. So it's, it's nice to know that there's something that's uh, easier to do and it makes it look really nice as well. I'd say this has been a success. Yeah, and you get the credibility in saying that I can recreate this look myself, so it's cool. To get these looks, head over to our website, Lily.